everybody on YouTube. This is Remarkable Tutorials here with another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to make Clark Kent from Smallville, Tom Welling, masked onto Superman's body. As you can see here, this is a picture done that's been seen all around the internet for years, actually. And it's a picture of Tom Welling's face on Superman's suit in the fortress. Now, this... Uh, I'll be do showing you somewhat how to do this with different images, but I won't be showing the exact same thing, so don't expect the same exact picture. But I can create something similar, which I hope you guys will find pretty cool. So basically, let's just get down to work. So you're just going to create a new comp. It doesn't really matter the size, because it's just an image picture, because I'm not going to do an actual thing. But it's going to insert this picture, Brandon Routh. So now you see there. See how it's kind of, I think it's the same exact suit, just not as large. And it looks like it's a video game image. And, I don't know, it looks pretty cool. And we're going to insert this image of Clark and Lois. We have Clark looking up someone here, so this will look pretty good on Superman's body. So we're just going to insert that on top. And you'll see it takes basically the entire image, and it completely takes over Clark, so, uh, Superman Clark. So we're going to have to just mask Clark's head on top. It won't look perfect, of course, because this is just a quick tutorial. But if you're doing it on your own video, it'll probably look pretty cool. So just, you want to take the cursor, and you want to mask around his head. Let's see, his neck is kind of a different color, but we can possibly change. This could also easily be done in Adobe Photoshop, uh, any of the CS3s and beyond, I believe. Perhaps even the earlier models, I'm not sure. And you're just going to mask around uh, Tom Welling's head. And to just try to make it as best as you can, especially if you're doing an image. Alright, so now we just got Tom Long's head floating here. Looks pretty good. Alright, now we're just going to move that over there. Yeah, look at this head, it's way too big. I'll include both of these pictures in the project file. Now he's got a little fat head. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm going to have to just fix that up a bit. Make it a little skinnier, of course. It's not going to look perfect, I never said it would, but... Here, let's just extend the mask down a bit. With After Effects, which is a lot better than Vegas, I've discovered recently, uh, you can fix the mask without having to like redo everything, which makes masking a whole lot easier. So, now that we have that, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look perfect, it looks a little bumpy, right? Like, edgy on Tom Long's head. So, all you gotta do is go to Layer, go to Mask, and go to Mask Feather. And we're gonna just create a little feather on it. Let's just see how 10 looks, or 11. 11's fine, I guess. And let's just see how that looks. It looks a lot cleaner, like, as if he belongs there. And his head does fit on it pretty easily. But th there's a little bit too much going on, so let's just adjust it a little bit so it matches what we want. Let's try about 5. That should look fine. That looks a lot better, I like that. It doesn't look perfect, of course, because I'm not doing a full depth mask, but it does look pretty good. Now that we got that done, now we're just going to try to mask Superman's actual body. So you have to go to Google or something and just get an image of the Fortress of Solitude. So, Fortress of Solitude. Oops. Superman Returns. Just so we have the most to date one. Alright, let's just do small and make life easier. Just gonna drag that picture into the project. I'm just gonna insert that underneath everything. So you see how now we have the outside of that. That looks fine. So now we're gonna just have to mask Superman. And now we're gonna have to mask his actual body. Of course we're gonna have to color code after this, which will be fine, I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna go to mask again. I'm just gonna mask around Clark's body. It's going to look a little bad, so we're going to place Clark a little bit closer to the edges when the time comes. Ah, we don't need Clark, my bad. The 
The better thing about this mask is the colors are a little bit more alike, so it makes the whole masking process a lot easier. Alright, now we're going to have to add a big feather to that. Because quite frankly, it's not going to look very pretty. So layer, go to mask. Go to mask feather. We'll, we'll increase this one a little bit just because it's necessary. Alright, now we're going to drag both of them over to here. Look at that. I'm not going to create much of a cape because that's going to take a lot of masking. But it's not that hard to do either. So let's just color code a little bit. Go to effects, go to color correction. I'm just going to change the colors a bit. We can do the brightness and contrast. We'll just try to make Clark's face a little darker. It looks a little better. Then go to color correction again and then just color balance it a bit. Create a little blue on it. It's a little too much. Definitely have the same color effects to the final layer. Again, this won't look perfect because we are just doing a simple mask. That looks a lot better. And just gonna add a. F just make sure that it's only Clark in there and there's no clouds in the background like it was in the original picture. But basically, that's how you do a simple mask of Superman, Clark Kent. It's not perfect. I never claimed it would be. Ah. But it's just a model of what you could do if you wanted to sit down and then clone... and then. Photoshop, you can use the clone tool and just create a cape or just Photoshop another cape he over here so it looks like that original image. And that would be comp one, which is this. So as you can see, the colors aren't perfect. I was in no way trying to make it perfect. But overall, it just has a similar approach to it. Photoshop would be better for this kind of tutorial because you can use different effects and then change Clark's shadows and everything. You could do that in After Effects, but I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on just a tutorial like this. So in all, pretty simple tutorial, and it could be helpful for anyone who wants to like use video editing and Photoshop Clark Kent onto uh, Superman's body. As Superboy X has done in his videos, I definitely recommend you check out his latest Marvel vs. DC trailer. Superb masks of Clark on Superman's body. He also did it for Worlds Collide, which again looks superb. I was very happy with what he gave us. But overall, it's just a good thing to learn. Anything great for an aspiring film editor or anything like that. And masking, although not an easy task, really can yield great results. So that's all I have for this tutorial. Whether you like this tutorial or hate this tutorial, you guys let me know below. I'd be happy to hear what you have to say on the matter. And if you guys have any requests or any sort of complaints for that matter about this video, please let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you have to say. And it does truly help me in editing and everything. So anyways, guys, I'm Marvel Tutorials. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.